And before we get into it, congrats to Minnesota as they win the PWHL Walter Cup. So stick taps, hats off to you gals, congratulations. All right, so it kind of felt like this game was exactly like game three, but with the teams reversed. Edmonton with a huge 5-2 win over Dallas. They now tie the series and we're headed back to Dallas where hopefully Edmonton can win that swing game as they are just two wins away from closing out this series. Hopefully they can continue to get it done. And before we kind of get into it, there's one gripe, not really gripe, one just thing that I kind of wanted to go over. And at times I just don't understand why some players can't just like do it on their own. There were several times that I saw again today where, you know, Leon's coming in, Connor's coming in, and they have two bodies on them, and as they're attacking the net, they start to drift off to the side. But another player with the puck, whether it's McLeod, whether it's Nuge, whoever, they try to still force a pass through the low slot right to Leon or Connor, but they already have two people on them, so they're not going to be able to finish. I contrast that with guys like Ekholm who when he arrived last year and kind of started scoring pretty early on, uh, he said it's kind of easy to do so because there's always two people on Leon and it's easy to just find an open lane and get some pucks on net. So I just wish that we could see some of these players own it a little bit more, that when Connor and Leon, you know, go and do their thing and have two players glued to them, that frees up so much room and space that maybe instead of throwing everything at them, you know, take the risk, take the chance, do it on your own we did see that like don't get me wrong that was just one thing where i wish that we just saw less of that but anyways dallas got up to that two nothing lead that first goal was a goal where i'm like ah oh, man that's one that really shouldn't have gone through but it is what it is um from there it, it started to just feel like shades of game three and eventually edmonton started to take control of things and it started with the back end for those first two goals edmonton had some great support from bouchard and from nurse that kind of contributed huge on goals one and two nursey kind of starting out the attack and then mcleod there to kind of finish things off in tight with some height on this puck too so kudos on that great poise there and then Bouchard, huge on the rebound here, in with Connor, so he gets that goal to make it 2-0. Thankfully, Edmonton's penalty kill is continuing to just be impressive in these playoffs. We get a shorthanded goal, Yanmark and Brown, man. The chemistry that these two have in these playoffs, outstanding. Yanmark has been itching for this goal for a couple of games. I'm so happy he got rewarded. Both of his goals in the playoffs have been off of an assist from Connor Brown. Brown, who now also has points in three straight games. And then just seconds after that, right after the kill, nifty little give and go between Hyman and Leon. Leon, who buries it, and that starts with Connor McDavid at neutral ice. Just a little bit of a, of a collapse from Dallas, and Connor's able to capitalize, get that puck, get it out ahead to Hyman and to Leon, and boom, just like that, Edmonton doubles up on Dallas 4-2 to two before Ekholm late in this one, kind of like Game 3, throwing one on net from his own end to just get the insurance goal and make it 5-2. to two. Oh, and then also Stewie uh, early in the first period and then kind of later in the second period, or maybe it was early in the third uh, and there were two points where he just had two huge pad saves, one on Sagan, one I forget who on his low side of the crease in the net have just been impressive, like really, really good work, really, really good pad work from Stewie. And to close out this video, the MVP of tonight has to be Euler legend Oscar Clefbaum. Very special message he gave out to the fans kind of midway through this game. I'm sure you've seen it already, but we'll play it at the end of this video, so I'm going to leave it at that. Game 5. Friday night, 8.30. I'll catch you guys in that one. Here's Oscar Clefbaum. Hey, Oilers fans. Oscar Clefbaum here. The Oilers fans are the loudest and the best fans in the NHL. So let's make some noise and let's get a big win tonight. Let's go, Oilers.